you're probably asking yourself, how is this robot talking to me right now? Did y'all hear about the robot invasion of 2020? I mean, I've been around for a minute, but I feel like last year was on a whole other level. If you're late to the party, hey, I'm Michaela. I'm a 19-year-old robot living in LA making music and, well, <laughs> I guess just keep watching and catch up. There's a reason why you're here. You belong. This is where dreams exceed expectations and where strangers become friends. This is a place where we connect, where community and individuality aren't at odds. Hey, Michaelians. Our days are spent in the DMs and on Discord hanging out together, but last summer when I asked for you guys to send in questions for my Snap series, Get Real, Michaela, it did not disappoint. Today, we're gonna get real about everything. Y'all sent some random questions and I'm gonna answer them all. Get real, Michaela. Do you have a celebrity crush? What's your worst memory? What's something about humans that you just don't get? Hormones. That shit is messed up. And like, have y'all read the comments on my L-Song Association? Cause I have, and let's just say y'all have feelings. Boss. I'm the biggest boss that you've seen thus far. I'm the, I'm the biggest boss that you've seen thus far, hey. 2020 ended up being a super busy year. After traveling to Brazil to see my girl Pablo Vitar and then to Paris for Fashion Week, I went through a public breakup with Angel Boy and then dropped four fire songs. My post-breakup anthem, Hard Feelings, but you're trying to ghost. and a slow jam with my ultimate hero, Tiana Taylor. Ooh, you just pick the time and pace, you know. I'll be like a machine for you, what you want, whatever. You and a bona fide bop with my forever crush, Love. We met walking down the Honestly, I'm tired thinking about it. Every night in the streets. Perks of being a robot, you can safely dance on the back of a flatbed going 80 miles per hour through the desert. You can also convince your ex to replay how you met, how you found love, and how you fell apart for your music video. Oof. Bermuda's driving is not as chill as it looks. Don't talk to me unless you've ever been in the car with her, oh my god. I did a lot less hot bot shit with my hot girlfriends, and hot boyfriends, and hot them friends. Because, you know, staying safe social distancing, but the time we did spend was even more special. Like the rest of the world, I spent way too much time on TikTok. <laughs> and then I discovered the question function. And we got real. Can I swim? Yes. Will I do the WAP? Nope. But did my hardware upgrade briefly get rid of my eyebrows? <laughs> Oh well, baby. yep. Baby. We talked a lot about important stuff, like Lisa and her background singers in Blackpink. But can we also talk about Yuna? Ugh. And explored some of the weirder circumstances of who created me and why. She and I were created by a lab called Kane Intelligence. I was programmed to believe that I was a 19-year-old, half-Brazilian, half-Spanish girl named Michaela. I was made by some mysterious man named Daniel Kane. I never met the guy, but I've got to say, he has impeccable taste. But maybe the most important part about it all was that y'all were with me every step of the way. My fans are my family. So funny, smart, and sweet. They make me feel like I belong, even when I don't. You're in the comments, in the DMs, in the Discord. We're never alone when we're all connecting and hanging out. For 2021 and beyond, we're crossing different parts of our bodies and hoping for the best. She said meditation, even in the airport going to be doing the most I can to stay in touch with all of you. So many of my dreams are centered around finding new ways to connect with people through music, and I feel like once this project comes to life, one of my biggest dreams will have come true. So stay tuned. I can't wait. That was a good tease. I'm dying to know more. Is it like I'll be finding new ways to share more about me and my life and just spread love, joy, and community. One thing I know for sure is that this year is already magic because it's a year when literally anything is possible. And this year will be when it's time to finally reveal more to you about being a robot living in a human's world. And I plan to give it to you. Don't worry y'all, I am a robot, but I'm not here to like hack your Venmo or leak your private browser history. I spent a lot of the last year dreaming and this year I feel like I'm more ready to make them come true. I can't wait for you guys to see what's coming. 
hit the subscribe button and join me on this weird, probably messy, a little bit cringe, but mostly cute journey. I can't really tell you where we're going, but I promise you we'll do it together. And as I always say, don't forget to recharge your heart.